Hey kids, here we are, Belgian Waffle Ride in beautiful San Marcos, California. It's the 10th anniversary running of the Belgian Waffle Ride that Michael Marks put together. Big expo, big ride tomorrow, there's so much talent here, it's crazy. Um, we're looking for a fast race, it's, it's going to be hot, windy, we'll see what happens. Thanks for checking in. Welcome to BWR. Um, I was going to have a quick little, uh, actually I was going to do my usual primitive handshakey I'm on my Facebook live video of my Canyon bike I'm riding here, but instead, since Ken here from Hunt Wheels, my buddy, jumped in and he, since Ken was so kind to supply us with the wheels, I figured, you know what, let's have Ken talk about the wheels and get it right versus me getting it wrong and not being very impressive. So this is Ken from Hunt and he's going to quickly look at the, talk about the wheels that he has on my bike for the BWR tomorrow. Yeah, so being that the BWR is majority road miles, we decided to set Zap up with our 54 carbon aerodynamicist wheel sets. They're a great wheel set that uh, benefits from the trickle down technology from our limitless range, our 40, 48 and 60 limitless wheel sets. So very aerodynamic shape, the U-shaped profile on the rim bed to help air transfer over smoother. Uh, while also being extremely light. So they're just a touch over 1,500 grams. I think it's about 1,524 uh, for front and rear uh, combined. And then, um, yeah, no, it's a great, great wheel set. Set up tubeless, Zap has it set up with 32 mil tires, it looks like. 30. 30s? Yeah. So, yeah, perfect setup. It's gonna create a more even profile when the tires are fully inflated to keep air attached to the rim a little bit longer, but should be the perfect wheel set for tomorrow. So, uh, when I was setting the bike up, I called up Ken talking about the wheels, and we had had a pair of the Hunt Aerodynamics with the carbon spokes, which they came out with last year. And I asked Ken's opinion and advice, and he actually said to run the wheels with the bladed steel spokes versus the carbon spokes. Tell them why you thought that. Yeah, so the carbon spokes are great. You're able to save approximately 80 to 60 grams uh, for the wheel set with the carbon spokes, but because of the increase in thickness, it just ends up being a slightly slower wheel, and we're talking less than a watt. We're talking minute uh, differences in aerodynamics, but when you're doing an all-out effort like at BWR, it's it's crucial to have something that's gonna be able to like give you the all-out maximum performance. So we opted for the steel spokes for this round, a uh, little bit heavier, but Zap's a strong guy, he can handle it, and 
just get them the most aerodynamic package that we can. And of course, when Ken talks about all-out efforts, and you, with me, they're completely like completely disparate uh, universes. There's those two things, me and all that effort still coming together. But anyways, uh, check out Hunt Wheels. Uh, they've been, they've been uh, out of England. Out of England, yeah. Out of the south coast of England. Uh, we started back in early 2015. We now have a U.S. office in Boulder, Colorado to help support U.S. riders and create faster shipping times to U.S. riders and customer service based out of here and warranty repairs, stuff like that all over the Boulder. Office. And also today is uh, July 17th, tomorrow July 18th. The boys yep. are finishing in Paris and if I'm not mistaken, July 18th is Nelson Mandela Day. Yep. And Hunt Wheels is also a co-sponsor of the Quebeca team. Right. Yeah, yeah. So we we were grateful enough to join on with the Quebec Next Hash team this year. Uh, so they'll be racing so with uh, actually a sa similar set of the 54 aerodynamics that Zap have on, except we've partnered with the Quebec Foundation to do special graphics and logos, and those pairs will be auctioned off at the end of the Tour de France, and all of that will go towards the Quebec Foundation to get more kids on bikes. Yeah, great. All right, Ken, well, thanks for coming by. Yeah, I really appreciate it. Mostly thank you for the wheels, and uh, see you after tomorrow. Yeah, awesome. Okay, hey, so we're, here we are talking about bikes, blah, 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 bike, 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 bike. Who cares, right? At the end of the day, we're out in front of Wynn's Ice Cream here, and we met Sarah. Yes. And she brought out these delicious, made by her husband. Yes, yeah, we're the Wynn family. For the, Sorry. the Wynn family, made specifically for the, to celebrate the Belgian waffle ride coming to town. Tell us about the ice cream one more time. Absolutely, so we deep fried the Belgian waffles, and then we made our own berry compote to swirl throughout. So it's blackberries, blueberries, strawberries, and raspberries. So wow. just for this weekend, you guys have inspired our creative hearts. So oh. here we are for you guys. And now you've done it for us, and yes. our created our waistline. So Absolutely. Fabulous. Thank you very you much. You earned the scoops, that's for sure. That's <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome, thank Cheers. you. All right, hey, we're here at BWR 2021. One, uh, looking at the Kenda product, the weapon of choice for Sunday is going to be the Fortitude TLR 700 by 32. Plenty of width there, nice file tread, full bead to bead protection, and of course tubeless ready. If you want another option, worried about the off-road terrain. We do make the alluvium in a 35 millimeter width. Tubeless as well, full bead to bead protection on this guy. Right now it's a little windy, Jared. You gotta get a good pump. What do you got?